But the first or second escape, you was helped by the Noonan crime family? It was the, um, let me get that right for you, it was the the second escape. And he's dead now, isn't he, that Noonan? Yeah, yeah. Wh- which one was that? Um, that was um, Damien. And how come he was in a position to help you then? Did you already have uh, feelings with him from previous? Yeah, no, but I'm not... Certain people know like Damien and all that throughout throughout the evening when we were kids. Yeah. You know, yeah. didn't hang about with him, just yeah. no often because we bumped into each yeah. other. Yeah. You know, so again, it's like anything else, criminal fraternity, especially local, carry that affinity. Yeah. You know, and if they're in a position to help, they'll help because it's like, it's like, I wouldn't say it's pride for them. That'd be the wrong word to use. It's like, we're assisting somebody who we know on our side and fuck to them. Yeah. Sadly, that's old school. Though. The ones nowadays aren't like that. No, no. no. I mean, from my understanding Doing now, themselves. my understanding now, there's too much like... They'll just snitch to get they're off. snitch, yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just correct, totally. and that's the there problem. There ain't no honour. No, no, no amongst feast this day and age, really, no. in that respect. No. <clears throat> so, yeah, he met me at um, the Cinema Showcase in Liverpool. You know, um, the smallest car I've ever seen in my life. A little turbo, whatever. So I've got to get in it. He's got his wife in it. He's got his kids in it. He's in it. Right? There's Tony and me. We're all like that. <laughs> I said, you could have brought something a bit more bigger than this, mate. You know? But as soon as he got out of the car to meet me, he picked me up and swinging me around. He said, put me down, for God's sake. <laughs> He's all big lads anyway. You'd probably make a limo look, make a limo look as well. <laughs> um, from that point, only took me to the safe house. You know, I was happy, but it was about meeting other people that I knew prior to me imprisonment. Yeah. You know, do well for themselves in Manchester, even this day and age, to do well. And um, <clears throat> how can I put it? Eventually, the provisions were put together, but I wasn't happy in the new safe house that I was in. I wanted to go back out in the countryside, rural. Stay out of the way. And it was arranged, believe it or not, in Salford, it was arranged. And um, I got in the car, and as we pulled out into a Love Lane, um, he didn't have a clue, this, this this driver. Yeah. He's just been told, just take this bloke here. Yeah. Doesn't know who you are. No, no. And um, going down the road, Matt the yards, next minute I see all these cars turning from the bottom, turning right onto the road. Unmarked, 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 unmarked. Un- but I know, it was like a funeral parade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going too slow. And next minute, the marked ones were coming, the vans and the cars then. And I said to him, I said, there's a film, mate, just pull over the phone box here, will you? So he pulls over. I actually pick up the phone in the phone box and when it got a few yards from me the first car I threw it down and I was off and I ran across the grass verge near the um, the old masonettes near the McDonald's that used to be there and um, as I'm running across he's he's put his foot on the auxiliary trying to block me off but I beat him under the archway Yeah, and I'm gone boom I'm gone and um, I am a parallel thinker I, I do think very fast I thought, right, I'm thinking of dog scent, scent. And I seen the opening to these masonettes on my left hand side. So what I've done, right, you got the grass there, you got the pavement, you got the open. So I ran fast as I can, and then I, I, as I got near the edge, I, I, I dived through the air and hit the two doors and went in, landing at the bottom. So I've gone up the steps, bam, bam, bang, and I, and I dropped down on the veranda top. Yeah. No as sooner as I've done that, because I've got a ledge, I seen them all running now. They're running that way thinking I've run that way. When I haven't, I've come this way. <clears throat> as far as the dog sniffing, they'll go up to the grass. Correct. And we won't know where else to go, will we? Correct, no. No. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> there's two doors, one on my left, one on my right. The one on the right was open. So I've, I've crawled over to it, gone and shut the door and went upstairs. And whenever that matter of minutes, a, 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 a lady come up. And she was all right, you know. Yeah. She said, who are you? I said, I said, I'm wanted by them. She said, all right. Chris Salford. I said, look, if you've got kids and all that, go for a walk. When you come back, I said, I won't be here. If anybody answers the door before you do that, don't answer it. If they say they got a search warrant, don't let them in. She said, right. So anyway, cut long story short, right? Sound like <laughs> it. It only happened in Salford, though, really. No, <laughs> <Yeah>. really. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what's happened... saying that in Cheshire or somewhere. <laughs> you know, Chad's key on the door. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> on fire. stay where you are. <laughs> on the phone. There's a stranger to the door. <laughs> Hold on, somebody chasing me with an axe. Like, yeah. you're not coming in. <laughs> <laughs> so to cut a long story short... Um, I'm watching through the net curtain down below 
and the ones in the plain clothes trying to ming in, mingle with the crowd, but they're yeah. all stepping away. You just say, your business, we're not interested. Again, shed no skylight. I would have got on the roof. The helicopter went. So I thought, going to call it off soon. <clears throat> oh, son, I heard voices. In the house, manly voices. So I've gone, well, what's this now? So I've come out the bedroom, bam, bam, bam. I looked down and there's coppers in, 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 in the hallway now with the dogs. And it was one of the young kids opened the door. And when he opened the door, coppers turned around and said, to him, have you got a dog in here? And then she's come out and said, what are you doing here? But the dog's on the scent now. Oh, God, yeah, yeah. He's on the scent. He's been so I, thought, I thought, well, I can't go through the window because they're all there. I can't go there because there's no skyline. Yeah. So I know it sounds comical. It's something like Billy Smart Circus. I've tried to sit in between the, the bed and the wall. So I've squeezed down like that. I'm trying to pull the bed much as I can against me. Um, <clears throat> Too big of a lad for that. Oh, it was ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then what's happened? They've come in. What the hump, bam. And seen me. One of them's ran. He's ran out. They're in dead fast. <laughs> and I jumped up. <laughs> And I went like that, I went, well, it's a fair cop then, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so he handcuffed me. As he's taking me down the stairs, stairs to the front door, she stood there with the kids. And the person who's in charge of the, the team, in other words, he, he had a suit on. I said, I'd just like to say now that this person here had no, had no idea that I'd entered her house. The door was open and I'd just come in. Otherwise, the charge you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either that or try and get her to make a statement against yeah. you saying that you Yeah, but that's why I said it out loud so she was on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, and it was more feasible that and all. And that was the truth anyway. Well, I mean, it was the truth, but for you to get it out there like that, they can't, then they can't come out with that kidnapping no. bullshit. No, she really assisted I mean. in all this crap. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm lucky on both escapes, never charged the people, the occupants of these houses anyway. They left them be. Um, and again, from there, they took me to um, Salford Crescent from that point. And then from there, I ended up going to um, Full Sutton Prison. How is this affecting your trial, all these escapes? Um, it, it, I was indifferent to it because it, it, doesn't, it doesn't distract from the fact that I'm, I'm a serving life sentence prisoner. Yeah. So regardless of what you're going to impose on me as a judge, it doesn't alter the fact that I'm still serving life. Yeah. You know, you can give me what you want. And the reason why I say that, I got done for the um, assault of the copper in, during the course of the um, trial. <clears throat> and what had happened, he was only youngish, a bit ego, a bit in your face, want to try it on, prove something, because I'm wearing a uniform, I'm infallible. And um, he's putting the ankles on, but he's putting them on tight. Um, bit of a bully. But he was too small to bully. Yeah, yeah, you know, well, he probably he got trying, bullied in school. He was trying to ex like, exert so. his authority yeah. too much, but he was trying to show off with it. Yeah. <clears throat> and it went on for about two days. He put it on, and then he's pulling me forward, so I'm pulling him back. And as I go forward, he's pulling me back. And on this particular day, we were waiting to go back from the cells down below to the um, detention centre, and he's put it on. And my mind had always been set up. I thought, fuck him, he's going to get a good hiding now. That yeah. is it, I've had enough. Yeah. So he's put the coats on, tight. And as I walked from the cell, just to exit, go upstairs to the main, up to the lift, I stopped outside the office. And excuse me, P.O. Can you come look at this? And I was sort of like level with the wall. Yeah. <clears throat> and I said, um, is, my, is my hand going blue? He went, yeah. Is he, I said, do you consider that too tight? He went, yeah. He went, right, 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 right. Take that off there and loosen it. Soon as, and I pulled my hand that way. So he had to come that way. He's had a level with the wall. <laughs> so as he's doing that, as soon as he took it off, I went in the back of his head. I mean, you little bastard. Have some of that. And his head's hit the wall. He's gone down. He's sort of stumbled backwards into his colleagues. His earpiece is down there. <laughs> right? I said, that's for being a twat, in other words, et yeah. cetera, et cetera. And um, I seen me gap. There was a little bit gap. They didn't exactly, you know, like cover him. And he's like that. And he goes, in it, it. Ain't nobody going to do nothing about it. He's just hit me, right? And I said, for cheeky, being a cheeky bastard, you can have it again. And I'm right, and I'm hitting him in the balls, <laughs> right? <laughs> How I've done it, I don't know. Got him in the balls, and he's gone down. He's gone, ah, 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 right? So then they, and they, they come towards me. So I faced him, I said, I don't give a fuck about you lot. I said, yeah. I'm doing life, what are you going to do? 
let's go for it. So the, now the PO from the prison's going mad. He's saying, back off you lot. So the cop is, back off you lot. Leave her alone. Back off. He's more probably thinking, don't start with law for God's sake. That's all we need down here. Um, so eventually they've gone away, took me to his cell, come back, and the shitbags now handcuffed me to a WPC. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I've gone, all right, fair enough. I've done what I've done anyway. Yeah. They took me to the lift. Do you know you're not going to do anything to a WPC, no. exactly? You know took me I mean? to the lift, right? As I got in the lift, you could cut the atmosphere with a knife. Because the most probable thing, he's going to go off in this lift, but he didn't. No. As soon as I got to the main detention centre, the ones that were under looking after us then, the coppers, I'll tell you now, they were all right with us then. Yeah. Anything we wanted to do. As soon as I got out the lift and I like, he said, he said, what's going on, Lordy? I said, that little bastard, he went right. In other words, we're going to have words with him. We don't want no trouble. <clears throat> and um, yeah, that was the situation on that. But another time, I've been escorted on a 6-2 committal for the Strange Ways incident. And then I've already been searched at Wakefield. Yeah. And when I've gone to the sergeant's desk, He's gone, um, right, strip searching. I said, I don't think so. You're not strip searching me again. You've done it once. He said, oh, I've got one of them, have we? And I'm walking around. I stopped and I thought, I oh, bollocks to it. I took an orange out of my pocket. I stepped back like a like a, a, a baseball throw and I threw it at him right in the face. <laughs> so anyway, I've gone to the cell and all that. He said, you're being charged. I said, whatever. Dude, what are you going to do? Yeah. Went into the um, the court area. I've been charged with um, assault. I'm giving his body arm on the copper. The cop is there, he's got a strained neck, a thick lip and all that. So eventually, he turns to him, the magistrate, he said, you got anything saying you missed to get in certain circumstances? I said, that's a fact I have. I said, one, I want my orange bat, and two, he's been tangled, hasn't he? <laughs> 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 